Hey everybody, welcome to Cowboy Leather and Shoe Repair. Today, make a little video pertaining to the uh, Singer 29-4. This machine was made in 1916, so that puts it uh, about 100, 607 years old. You do the math. But anyway, I'm going to show you what we use it for here in the shop. What it was intent, what it was intended for back in the day when it was manufactured. So let me swing around and uh, we'll give you a breakdown of what it is, how it works, and how and what we do with it. So just hold tight, and we'll switch around. All right, as I said, this is Singer 29-4. There's the plate. There's the serial number. This is a treadle machine. That's what makes it go. Now, some people have taken and switched these over to uh, put a servo motor on it, but I'm not going to do that. It comes with a me, bobbin winder. In fact, before we get too far, what you do is you loosen this thumb screw up. You raise it up. It drops the wheel away. I just went and put a uh, fresh bobbin in it. It takes, let's see if we can get, get you one here. It takes a bobbin. It looks like that. Now we'll come up here. It does want to seem to, and I see, put my hand back here. There we go. There's the needle. Press your foot. In fact, while well, we got it turned around here, if you loosen this screw up or thumb screw, that's how you set your uh, stitch length. And you come up here, you got a little ear here and you got an ear over here that's how we steer it you need that when you're trying to when you yeah are trying to put a patch on the uh on a boot or something like that as soon as i get the tripod set up i'll show you how it works now this i've had a lot of people come in and go oh my grandma had one like that no uh unless your grandma was in uh shoe repair business i don't believe she had one So anyway, yeah, sorry about that. So anyways, from here to here is 12 inches. So you can get a pretty uh, deep boot on there. And so, you know, quite quite deep down into the boot. So let me set, set this right up. Oh, these machines come, some of them do, some of them don't. This is a uh, lube bath. And, you know, that's makes you go up and down. That's your uh, thread tensioner right there. Your counter wheel. Now I'm using, uh, I believe it's uh, 69 thread, top and bottom. And let's see here. Let me open up the door. And if you look down in there, there's wheel. Pedal controls. This over here, see if me if it's tilted. You can put two bobbins down in these uh, wells. Run the thread up through there. Close your door. And run your thread through these two holes right here. That's if you're going to use big bobbins. So, let me put this thing on the tripod and uh, we'll show you... Uh, basically how it works and how it was intended to be used all right we're back right, let's see here it kind of get get myself adjusted here try and get you up as close to that needle as you possibly can all right what this machine was intended for is to, if you had a boot like this or you know, bigger, 
And at these seams right here, let's see if we can get these seams right here, or the seams back here, tear out occasionally. What you do is you slide the boot on here, get your thread where it belongs, and take it off here. Got, got everything all twisted around. Anyways, slide down here. Say you want to stitch up this back here. When you come over here, you get it where you want it, drop it, and I'm not going to do it to this pair of boots because it's a customer's boot. But anyways, you just get it going, and as you go around that, you just follow. Just follow that around, turning your... Uh, head and you can wrap it around come around turn this by hand and just go right there now you get this seat from up here tore up do the same thing you get it back here and just start walking it around uh, while you're walking it you're turning you're turning this to uh, follow the guidelines. That's what this machine was originally intended for. But over the years, uh, people found that it comes in handy for other things. I have sewed uh, <clears throat> me, patches on, on vests. I've done some intricate work. If I put a... Uh, like an inlay in a belt. Sometimes I'll use this machine because I can hide the stitches easier because this machine, like I say, is only, you know, I'm only running a uh, 69 thread and it just makes it look. Don't mind a close up. I'm trying to thread the machine here. Like I say, I had to um, change the bobbin out. So, now, another thing it's handy for. If you want to make a cylinder, now how are you going to do that unless you do it by, uh, by hand? You can't sew it on a cylinder arm because you got to sew this way so in other words you have to put it on here let me show you pick this up you have to put it on it you have to stitch it like so it goes like this so if you are good let's just say you're going to make a steampunk uh top hat and you want You've skied your edges and everything else. You made this flatter. Well, you can bring it over to a machine like this. Turn yo. Drop it. Let's see if I can do this without busting everything. Grab, grab your threads. Put some tension on it. foot slippery get to the other end lift your foot make we'll say one one stitch lift your foot now we're just doing this for uh, the shell so it shows you can make a cylinder. So you got you can make a cylinder 12 inches long and run it all the way up to here. And do exactly what I just did. Makes nice stitches. 
doesn't come apart. All right, now, this is a Tandy uh, ounce gauge. We just sewed single ply, nine in, uh, yeah, nine, a nine ounce. So, you double that up, that should be, uh, well, it gets on there a little bit, so that's probably nine, nine, eighteen, so that's about 17, 18 ounce worth of leather right there, double it. Now, I'm not, I'm not trying to sell anybody on anything. I'm showing you what this machine will do, what it was intended for back in 1916. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to stitch these two together. Again, that's 18, that's about 18 ounce leather. Now, one thing I like about this is, yes, it's a throttle machine. Yeah, you got to have hand-eye coordination, or excuse me, you got to have foot coordination. Because you could be going along and all of a sudden you'll skip a beat and you'll throw this thing in reverse. Well, it doesn't have reverse. It will it will go backwards, but it does not stitch in reverse. So, let's get it going. Let's see, what I like about this machine is you can do it one-handed. You know, one hand holding the project, one hand turning your deal here. Lost my beat. So just like that, that's your backside. So yes, you can stitch, use it for what it was intended for. And yes, you can use it for putting together, give me handbags or doing just general leather crafts. So. You know, some people say, oh, no, got to have this machine, got to have that machine. Well, before I bought the shoe repair shop and moved it out here and, and put everything all together, I had a hand crank, one of them Chinese hand crank shoe patchers. I didn't like it. It was not user friendly, even after I modified it and ground it and polished it up a little bit. It didn't work. So, like I say, the machine's intended to do shoe repair, patching, but you can use it for other things. So patches on jackets. I used to have a, a table that went on here and made it a flatbed machine. And I could lay a, a, a vest or something like that up here. And I said, I just start stitching the patch on. Just trot a little along and turn turn the needle head and I could sew square patches, round patches, it didn't make any difference. But I don't do that uh, much anymore. Because I've got too much other going on. But 
it's a good machine it's multifunctional it does go through we'll say if I was if I was making a, a holster out of this uh, thickness of leather lined it will go through it now some people will argue but boots are usually made out of uh, anywhere between five and seven ounce leather depending on you know what kind of boots you've got if you've got a pair of those uh, logging boots they're built stout they're built a lot of thicker leather they got a little bit of lining in, in them and when you get down to the uh, instep and that area they're double uh, double leather and it's actually bull hide and a machine like this I can stitch I've had that patch there's a patch on the side of the on a pair of uh, climber boots you've got here and then they put a patch in here because you're standing and there's a lot of pressure right there and I have they've tore them off or tore them loose and I've stitched them back on well that's eight nine eight or nine ounce leather maybe thicker I put it on this machine and done it so it does sometimes if in doubt I don't work it by foot I turn the hand wheel I can feel if if the needle hits a hard spot or hits it's a bind I can stop lift the foot move it uh, left right back and forward a little bit and then get back with it so they're a good machine it's old and as far as I know this machine has not been rebuilt uh, I don't play with the thread length on it I don't play with the tension what you just saw me uh, stitching up is the way it pretty much stays all the time because I can stitch boots and stitch whatever uh, the only thing I have done is I've ordered up a new belt or it because the belt is leather and over a period of time it gets saturated with oil and gets to slipping so I've got a new one coming it should be in uh, next day or two or sometime next week yeah so that's just basically what this machine uh, does what it was intended for what I use it for again I pretty much I've got uh, bigger machines so I don't use this for making holsters or bags unless I just want to sit down and uh, practice this machine is pretty much for shoe patching or putting on patches on jackets so next video I make we're going to talk about the I got one two three I got four four sewing machines in here I got the uh, singer got that one that'll probably be the last one we talk about then we got the Ferdinand the bull and then back there in the corner is the jukey and I may even make a video on I've got a uh, Atlas home machine that I've converted over to uh, do light uh, three four ounce leather for making you know little purses sunglass cases or stuff like that stuff that you know I'm not using uh, for very thick leather but most of the time I use the Juki but like I say we did the, the Singer 29-4 this week next week we'll do the uh, Ferdinand the Bull and we'll do the Juki and then we'll do the Landis uh, number 12 and I have <clears throat> another singer I haven't even figured out what year it is but it's a home sewing machine and I may take on a journey to rebuild it it was a barn find and I mean literally a barn find so with that being said I hope that you found this uh, this video a little interesting 
didn't mean to bore you, but, you know, it's just, I just want to show you what machines I have, what I use them for, what I use them for their purpose, but time to time I, I may make them work a little overtime and, you know, give them a, a stress test, if you will. So, with that said, I'm going to close up shop, go in the house and take a shower and get comfortable. So I hope everybody had a good week. Everybody have a good weekend. Stay safe. And we'll see you on the next go-around. Cowboys out. Bye now.